talking this music. Tonight, guys, we've been playing all season long to have opportunities like this. Okay? It's time to make it count. So let's do this. Hearing that, other guys, I don't think they could be any more up for a game than they are right now. Game four of the Eastern Conference semifinals set to go. Welcome fans to the postseason of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan here with Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. It's the Orlando Magic facing the New York Knicks. A quick check now of the starting five for both teams. And as always, we'll be watching Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, you know, the one thing that Melo has never had a problem with is finding his own shot. And that's such a luxury to have late in games when the defense really tightens up. He can get him the ball, and he'll create something, either an open look, a drive to the hole, or get himself to the foul line. And that isn't the end of it there either. I mean, even if you stick with Melo and get a hand in his face, a lot of times it doesn't phase him. You might as well not even bother the way he finishes with defenders in his grill. I mean, he's got excellent concentration shooting the ball. Taking a look at New York. They're facing elimination, and the fans in this building know that this could be their last game of the year without a tremendous effort. That's almost like there's no pressure now. You're down 3-0. You're in your home building. Just come out and fight and, and scrap and claw. See what happens. Let it loose. Let it fly. Well, that's good of you to look on the bright side, Steve. That is true, though. They can throw caution to the wind at this point and let it all hang out. Why not? Harris. There's the block. He feeds it to Calderon. Johnson with the defensive effort. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time. No question. The basket drops and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. It's going to send Tobias Harris to the one. That one's on Anthony. The Magic shooting their first free throw of the night here. That's good from Harris. Here's Calderon. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Guys, Derek Fisher had a few moments to share with me. I asked him if this team still believed that they could come back in this series, and he told me, absolutely. The guys know we're in a hole, but we've had our backs against the wall before. The pressure is on them now to close us out. We can just go play our game and try to get back in this series. We'll watch and see that happen, guys. All right, Doris. Here's Johnson after the made shot from Carmelo Anthony. Baiting outside. It's stolen by Stoudemire. And it's Smith penetrating. Tries from 10. Called her on. Gallenberg dishes to Smith. And the shot is good. Smith's got his first two points. And a gaping hole in the defense that time. And he didn't waste any time getting through it. Peyton kicks to Harris. And there's the feed to Johnson. Johnson right side. And the basket by Gordon. Superb assist there. He played the role of the maestro on that. The Knicks have gone two or three here to start out the game. Anthony kicks to Golderon. J.R. Smith on the wing. That ball's nice speed this time from Jose Calderon. New York on team. Three-point lead. Need to bounce back from Wednesday's loss. I thought overall, Kevin, it was mostly the defensive effort that hurt them. Just no energy, no purpose. Steve, I thought they were late on their rotations. They didn't really communicate well. And as a result, they paid for it. Nice shot by Smith. How about this? They're shooting 80% so far. I know it's early, but offensively, they look great. 
Johnson with a screen on Colby. Peyton passes to Harris. Johnson outside. Fires the three. D'Alembert grabs the board. The Knicks leading by five. Great offensive performance they're putting on. You see the benefit of knocking down baskets consecutively because it leads to the confidence growing and growing, doesn't it, Steve? It sure does, and now it's to the point where they just feel unstoppable. Five on the clock. Or three, Calderon. Rebound by the Magic. Yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good, but good ball movement anyway. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. And that call gets an instant reaction from the fans. Well, that's a whistle that did not go over very well. Now here's Anthony. After the miss from Johnson, Anthony with room to shoot. Misses off the right iron. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. The dish to Peyton. Here's the floater. Another shot. And it's Vucevic missing. The Knicks have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Johnson with the block. Nice shot by D'Alembert. The Magic trailed by five. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Johnson dishes to Gordon. Back to Johnson. Feeds it to Gordon. Pass to Payton. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Three-pointer. And the basket by Harris. Harris has got six. Well, I'm not necessarily a big fan of him shooting that shot, but they did give him the space. Anthony with it, picked up by Harris. D'Alembert sets a screen for Anthony. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. He's got seven. Yeah, this is great. Three-pointers going down quickly at both ends. Yeah, it took them no time to answer back on that possession. Peyton kicks to Johnson. At the lead pass. Here's Gordon. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got three assists in the game. New York leading by three. Holderone passes to Carmelo. D'Alembert with a screen on Harris. Anthony drawing the double team. Holderone for three. The shot will not go. The Magic go the other way with it. Harris outside. Johnson from outside. And again, it's Orlando with the three. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. New York's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Now here's Anthony. Seven points in the game. Dishes to Smith. The rebound by Johnson. Orlando's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. And he misses the go-ahead basket. The Knicks have gone six and 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Smith drives in. Stoudemire dishes to Calderon. Here's Smith. Gets an open look and hits. Smith's got eight points. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. Johnson with a screen on Calderon. Again, the Magic score. He's a very effective screen to set up the jumper. That was the key to that play. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with the rundown of this postseason's assist leader. You take a look at Colbert. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. D'Alembert up top. Pass to Carmelo. D'Alembert sets a screen for Anthony. Bangs home the trifecta. Anthony's got seven points for the quarter. Well, offensively, he's taken a solid opening quarter and just built on it here in the second. And so in the game for the Magic, Johnson in a two-guard.
That's Gordon and Vucevic, the big men inside. Tobias Harris is out there with Peyton. Yeah, you know, these calls can be some of the toughest in the game for the official. It all happened so fast, but I really think that was the right call. The defender was not really set in that situation. And the basket by Gordon. The Knicks with the lead. Calderon with him. He's got five. Stoudemire left side. And it's one. Well, if this game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. Yeah, they've been really strong in the paint, battling the glass. Now let's send it to Doris on the sideline. Thanks, guys. Garbage man in their last game against the Knicks was superb. He dropped in 32 points, and along with what he did on the offensive end, he also played some stellar defense as well. Just absolutely incredible numbers from him in a game you didn't want to miss. So glad we were here to watch it, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. It really was a stunning performance, Clark. He was at his absolute best in this game. Yeah, and the only thing about having a game like that, Kevin, is that it's almost impossible to duplicate it here tonight. Well, nobody's expecting that, Clark, and they don't need him to do that. If he's even half as good as he was that night, it should be enough. Calderon kicks to Stoudemire. Smith outside. Lock at six. The pass to Calderon. Fires the three. Orlando grabs the miss. Vucevic has got three rebounds so far in the game. Peyton drives in. He dishes it to Harris. Johnson outside. Kicks it to Vucevic. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Harris passes to Johnson. He feeds it to Vucevic. Good, and it's Johnson with the assist that time. And it's a three-point magic lead. Well, I'll bet his teammates love playing with him. He's distributing the ball perfectly. Well, he keeps everybody happy, and you know what? The assist numbers don't lie. Catching up on the changes for New York. Jason Smith, he's checked in for Dallin. And it's Randolph in for Stoudemire. Randolph kicks to Smith. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. How about that play? Great body control. He still manages to finish the play despite the contact. You know, when that whistle blows, you're not done. Get greedy and find a way to knock it down. And the Knicks making a change here. Augustine's checked in. Orlando's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Peyton dishes to Harris. Harris gets the screen from Johnson. And it's Harris off the drive. But Trey, Johnson can't hit. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. And Augustine kicks to Randolph. Count that one. Randolph's got eight. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark. Just piling up points in the paint. Picks it out to Johnson. Back to Gordon. He passes it to Johnson. The feet to Vucevic. Peyton outside. Augustine with the steal. Crops in the breakaway layup. Augustine's got four points now in the fourth. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. Johnson outside. Inside to Vucevic. Johnson covered by Smith. Johnson the pass to Gordon. And that one's good. 121 left in the first half. Augustine. He kicks it to Smith. Outside Randolph. Just five on the clock. He tries for three. Gordon with the defensive effort. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Now it's Anthony running. He can go all the way. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. 
textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yes, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Well, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. He has not been on his game. And, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Anthony drawing the double team. New York needs to get off a shot. Augustine. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his third rebound on the ninth. And the slam dunk by Johnson. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D, it, I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. It's the Knicks. They're up by two. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Now, presented by Sprint. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we welcome you back here to the broadcast of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. What a great game for Anthony in this one. 16 points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. Well, they might want to think about setting a few more screens for him to try to give him another open look or two. Mello is the three. Amari is at the four. Calderon and Smith are the one and the two. And it's D'Alembert in at the five, roaming the paint. That's Derek Fisher's five as we get going into the second half. Here is Calderon. Anthony dishes to D'Alembert. Smith releases from the wing and drills it. Smith's got the first basket of the second half here for the Knicks. And we should thank the defense for those two points. Really, nobody paid him any mind there. Johnson kicks to Gordon. Good work defensively by Stoudemire. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. Beautiful ball movement again. Last five trips, they ball ended with a great pass. Leading to a basket, Steve. I mean, they are really sharing the basketball. A shot by Johnson, no good. The Knicks leading by six. The drive by Anthony. Calderon passes it to Smith. The dish to Stoudemire. Pass to Calderon. shot opportunity. Nice shot by D'Alembert. D'Alembert has got his second best. And their offense is flowing. It's clicking right now at the beginning of the second half. They've made three of their first four attempts. Johnson kicks to Gordon. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got assist number seven for him tonight. I'll tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. He can bring them right back into this. Smith outside. Outside Anthony. Back to Smith. Smith right side. Misses from close range. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started, and a better job finishing it off. Calderon with it. Now Peyton defending. Back to Anthony. Feeds it to Calderon. Beyond the arc. That is good. Calderon's got eight points. Of all the guys you want to leave open out on the perimeter, he is the absolute last guy on the list. Attention to detail. Know your personnel. Harris passes to Peyton. Back to Harris. Dishes it to Peyton. Puts up a three. Rebound by Anthony. Anthony's got his fifth rebound in this one. And it's Smith penetrating. And there's the call on Tobias Harris. That's foul number two.
So it's the Knicks now. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. And here's Augustine. Knocked loose. And now here's Johnson. The fast break chance. And Gordon gets it to go in on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got nine assists now tonight. Pass to Augustine. He dishes it to Ellington. The pass to Augustine. Kicks to Ellington. Six on the shot clock. On the top of the key. Augustine, that's good. Augustine's got six points. The Magic trail by ten. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Johnson dishes to Oladipo. Trains it from beyond the arc. He's got ten. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assist today. Beautiful to watch. Smith with a screen on Oladipo. Here's Ellington. Now, here's Oladipo. Ten points for him. Gordon. Back to Oladipo. Johnson kicks to O'Quinn. Gordon. And by Augustine. O'Quinn, the pass to Johnson. And the rejection by Smith. That's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. And Orlando might get a change here. Just four to shoot. And that one's good. 12 points for Johnson. Nice play there on the inbounds. The defense really lost contact. The Knicks leading by four. Outside Anthony. He feeds it to Augustine. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Augustine's got eight points. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it. I think they're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. Gordon, he buys Stoudemire. Three-pointers off the mark. Well, that's clearly a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look at. Not true. The defenders shouldn't relax just because he missed that one. He's capable of getting hot in a hurry. Orlando making some changes. Vucevic checked in for Barnyan. And Tobias Harris subbed in for Ben Gordon. It's Anthony with the drive. The fader. That's good. Anthony's got 23. What an excellent performance from the field for him. Peyton against Calderon. Here's Johnson. That's in. Coming off an assist from Peyton. 14 points for Johnson. Now you threaten the defense inside and then find the open man on the outside. Good offense. Calderon kicks to Anthony. A minute 50 left in the third quarter of the game. The feed now to Dallin Bear. Orlando grabs the miss. Gordon's got four rebounds in this game. Johnson kicks to Harris. Anthony with the block. The Knicks leading by six. Stoudemire up top. Smith outside. Back to Stoudemire. He kicks to Calderon. Shot clock at six. Calderon sets a screen for Anthony. Rejected by Johnson. Leads him in there. Peyton. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. Peyton's got four this quarter. You can see that they're not as aggressive from the three-point arc. They had far more attempts in the first half. Calderon dishes to Smith. Makes it off the glass. Smith's got 12 points in the game. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. Defense had better start buckling down and tightening up. Yeah, they're getting exposed right now. Johnson leaves it up and in off the pretty assist. 
really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter, at least at the offensive end. Calderon passes to Smith. And again, it's New York. Six second difference between shot and game play. Peyton kicks to Johnson. Passes it to Gordon. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. The shot by Anthony, no good. Now here is Harris. He's got nine. Johnson can't get it to go. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go around. The third. the game four as we get ready to start things up again and a chance to catch up on some numbers here scoring breakdown for the Knicks and their mid-range shooting continues to be accurate they've really been on fire from beyond the arc tonight too I mean a lot of their points have come from out there our fourth quarter action on the way presented by Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go let's reset the lineup and so in the game for the Magic Gordon and Vucevic the big men inside Johnson is out there with Peyton and it's Harris and at the small forward position. Peyton with the ball. Johnson outside. Takes the three. And that one's good. Johnson's got ten points in just the second half. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Back to Peyton. It's stolen by Calderon. Smith dishes to Carmelo. He passes to Calderon. Back to Anthony. Defended by Gordon. With the fadeaway. Again, the miss by Anthony. Boy, they were ready for him right there. I mean, totally collapsed the defense on him. Peyton kicks to Johnson. Down low. Gordon. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. And that's 12 points for Aaron Gordon. Final quarter of play. About a minute and a half off the clock into it. Calderon kicks to Smith. Back to Calderon. Anthony with the screen on Peyton. Hardaway for three. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. Still no more. So for the Knicks, Alan Bear comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Jose Calderon. Johnson with the screen on Augustine. Peyton passes to Johnson. Back to Peyton. It's tipped. Augustine with the steal. Now the dish to Carmelo. Good on the three-point shot. Anthony's got 28 points for the game. Second three-pointer of the half. Fourth overall. So he's having a nice game from outside. Peyton dishes to Johnson. Out to Peyton. Is a three. They get it back. Harris outside. Pass to Peyton. Orlando moving the ball around. Feeds to Vucevic. Working on Stoudemire. Second chance shot. And it's Vucevic missing. The Knicks leading by nine. Augustine setting the pick for Anthony. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. 
He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Jacques Vaughn said to the team. No surprise, really. The turnover situation was the focus. He told them, listen, we're giving it away, guys. We've got to protect the ball, play within ourselves, and get quality shots. Six to shoot. Johnson kicks to Peyton. Jacks up a three. The shot no good. So New York will take it the other way. And it's Smith penetrating. And there's the call on Tobias Harris. And that'll be his third foul so far. Oh, yeah, he had not established position. You know, I prefer the ref to whistle with a block when in doubt. I thought that was a good call there. Vucevic against Dallin Bear. Anthony. Shot from the wing. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. All the buckets he's poured in today have put them in a terrific position heading into the stretch. Johnson for three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Peyton. 22 points for Johnson. They're starting to give him a little too much space here in the second half. That's his third three-pointer since the break. Jose Calderon has checked in for Augustine. Now Anthony. Smith left side. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, when you think about instant offense, his name comes to mind immediately. It doesn't take much for him to get it going and run off a string of buckets. And something else everybody loves about him is his ability to do the sensational and spectacular. His dunks simply defy description at times. From deep, Johnson. And again, it's the magic from deep. Boy, they have been terrific from beyond the arc here in the second half. You look at the percentages. Good numbers. Just what the pharmacist prescribed. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they keep it up. Calderon passes to Stottem. Six on the shot clock. Outside Anthony. From deep three-point range. Good. Anthony's got 35. His presence is very comforting for this team. He's kind of a fallback option for them anytime they need it. That's a great shot if there's one second left in the game. Yeah, that would be the good time to do it. Not now, though. Back to Smith. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Smith's got four points this quarter. Here's Johnson. And it's well off target. The Knicks leading by 14. Anthony dishes to Stoudemire. Anthony kicks to Stoudemire. Shot from 12. Anthony's shot is off. Boy, that one is a shot he should make because the defender nowhere around him. He usually knocks that one down. The Knicks have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Only some solid looks for them. Calderon against Peyton. And stolen by Peyton. Inside. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. See the way he times his passes so well. That's a great assist. And that's an intentional foul. I have no idea why he was fouling there. And even the foul, I mean, you can't be wrapping guys up like that. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. That's a meaningless play. Ben Gordon's checked in for Orlando. So no problem for New York as they get the win. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, Doris Burke, Kevin Harlan, saying thanks for tuning in to the NBA Eastern Conference semifinals presented by 2K Sports. Now, Jordan presents the player of the game.
Double figures and assists for you with 13. Even though you weren't able to come out with the win, you made your mark with a lot of crisp passing. What needs to change next time out in order for you guys to see a better result? Mm, I think we got to be a little more careful with the ball, man. Turnovers are always a killer, and they can quickly negate anything good me or any one of my teammates is doing to set up the offense. Assists are great and all, but I'd rather have the win. So you can bet I'll be even more deliberate with the way I move the ball next game, man.